Welcome to our second session of the Whole Body Approach. Today, we will be discussing the importance of developing healthy relationships with food, which influence both our physical and mental health. In this session, the primary goal is to take focus off of the number on the scale and shift towards emphasizing creating a healthy and sustainable relationship with not only food, but also our bodies. In this session, we will begin to explain how the every size, also referred to as the acronym HAES, H-A-E-S, Health at Every Size will develop the mindset that every human body is unique, composed of a variety of genes, and developed by experience, choice, and behaviors. A key concept of Health at Every Size is mindful eating. Mindful eating sparks the feelings of truly enjoying and appreciating the flavors and textures of the foods we are eating. Following mindful eating techniques, we will further discuss listening to our bodies and a variety of ways that our body tries to communicate with us. Lastly, we will compare health at every size to a typical diet and how health at every size is much more effective for an approach towards long-term health. Health at every size primary focus is to honor our bodies, develop healthy physical and mental health habits, and support longevity. A healthy relationship with food includes relaxed eating, practicing balance and flexibility, and incorporating more nutrients into your daily diet. No food is the enemy. Instead, it serves a unique purpose, which is fulfilling hunger, providing vitamins and minerals, and offering energy. By feeding into what our body wants, we are beginning to slow the internal battle we have with ourselves about what we eat. For example, we want you to think about the food you eat and the way each food contributes to how you feel physically and mentally throughout the day. By being intentional to listening to our bodies, we discover that the foods with the most nutrients, such as vegetables and fruit, typically support the most influential changes in our energy levels and mood. Often we classify foods as good or bad, and that leads us to feelings of guilt when eating bad food. This is known as black and white thinking when it comes to eating. This type of thinking and shaming can lead to mental exhaustion and emotional distress when allowing this battle to go inside our heads. When we mix black and white together, we can make gray thoughts. Gray thoughts emphasize the importance of listening to our whole body by enjoying the food we are eating, but also be conscious of what our body performs best on. Therefore, pizza may sound appetizing, but you're choosing to also have a salad because you want to enjoy the benefits and nutrients you want to give to your body. In response to honoring our great thoughts, we are shifting our minds towards a mindful eating approach. Mindful eating emphasizes the importance of being present while preparing and eating our meals, enjoying the experience of eating, and savoring the flavors and textures of the food. You will quickly find that eating mindfully is more pleasurable, not less. In our culture, we typically overeat not because we enjoy the foods too much, but because we do not enjoy it enough. Try mindful eating next time you're eating alone. And once you have practiced a few times by yourself, do it when you're with your friends. Taking just a few moments to really enjoy your food can contribute to greater satisfaction and in the long run, greater health. Health at every size may be new to some of you, which is expected. Through this non-diet approach, we hope this will free you of overthinking your health and fit into any lifestyle you may have. Health at Every Size supports the concept that all people are able to pursue health without focusing solely on intentional weight loss, which could drive strong negative thoughts towards food. By not focusing on the number on the scale, we are shifting our focus towards nourishment and listening to our body, which promotes strong physical health as well as mental health. There are many ways we can listen to our body and give it what it needs to thrive. In terms of eating, our body can share internal cues of hunger, appetite, fullness. We can honor our bodies for either fulfilling those hunger and appetite cues or appreciating the fullness. Bodies can also tell us what foods help us to do our best by noticing changes in our energy levels, mood, and our emotions. By listening to our bodies, we are making small changes, which eventually make a big difference. Diet culture promotes restrictive eating and eliminating foods from their overall diet instead of adding more nutritious foods to support their everyday life. A common issue that many people fall into when following a diet that emphasizes eliminating foods and calories is called yo-yo dieting. With the mindset to label foods as bad, we pull the theoretical yo-yo all the way up 
and try to hold it there with all our might while we restrict our body of what it may want at the moment. Eventually, our physical and mental self cannot hold the yo-yo at the top any longer, and we give up. We let that yo-yo drop, and we feed into all the cravings we were restricting and make statements and sudden actions like, I want birthday cake. My diet is over. Then we have the sudden feelings of guilt. However, if we listen to our bodies and feed its nutrients daily, we avoid these extremes. It becomes a lifestyle, and we start to trust our bodies. We have discussed a variety of important topics relating to our relationship with food today. Challenge yourself to taking the first steps towards health at every size approach, as well as mindful eating this next week. Here are a few prompts that you can focus on throughout the week while you are eating to begin practicing mindful eating. How is your energy influenced after eating certain foods? Do you notice a shift in your mood when you eat the certain foods? What thoughts, positive or negative, do you have when eating? The small changes you make today will lead to the biggest changes for the rest of your life. Forward to our text throughout this next week to keep you motivated towards your goals, and we're excited to have you for the next class session. We will be discussing exercise and movement. Have a great week working towards your goals, and we are excited to be on this journey with you.